everyone, my name is Aneta and as always welcome to my channel. For today's video I decided to finish my ongoing series called Fairy Tale on Shrooms aka Inktober and move to something different. When I was planning this series I wanted to make more episodes but the more I was moving forward the more I realized that I needed something fresh. I also had to start from something and learn how to YouTube and this is it. I think I'm more confident talking over my microphone. I feel like I'm becoming more natural about it. Believe me, hearing your voice and sharing it with your audience is super stressful. I also figure out how to make videos in general, so yeah, I can move on. I have now few exciting projects I've planned for the upcoming weeks. We'll finally move to colors and I'm planning to make a new gouache setup. I also ordered some books which I'm excited about and I want to make some reviews. Anyway, there are so many new things I want to do on this channel and I can't wait to share them with you guys. In this video I won't be discussing so much the process. If you've seen my previous videos you already know the drill. Instead of that I would like to talk about our challenges. When I was done with all of my drawings, I started questioning myself whether all that effort I put was beneficial at all, but more than anything I asked myself if there is a point in making art challenges in the future. So in order to be objective as much as possible, I need to give you some background and share some of my experience and when it all started. I'm sure Inktober 2016 was my first art challenge like ever. At that time I was getting back into drawing. I was playing a lot of Overwatch on my PC. I guess it was just released. I remember I made three or four fan arts with ink and then I got bored and I'm glad I didn't continue because I was too stiff and I was overthinking everything. I didn't know how to use the medium yet and I was using my mole skin with very thin paper. It was a mess and it wasn't worth the effort. A year later I tried to make some pieces again but um, in general each drawing I make requires always time. I'm sometimes very jealous of people who are able to sit and make a 15 minutes perfect doodle. I can't. When it comes to line art I'm super precise and slow as a result. That year I wanted to make a Hogwarts series with imaginary characters from various houses but my time management wasn't the best so it happened that I would draw until 2 in the morning and the next day I felt exhausted at work. So, you know, it all became a chore instead of fun and there was no point in continuing that. And then in 2018 Mermaid arrived. For those of you who don't know, as I believe it is also a minor event, Mermaid is a drawing challenge that happens in the month of May where you are supposed to draw a mermaid every day. I was super excited back then because there was a beautiful sunny weather outside, the community was hyping the whole event on Instagram, so obviously I felt the need to participate. I remember many artists were posting their digital pieces and I decided to make a series of sketches because having the experience from years before I didn't want to use a medium that would be too time taking. I endured maybe 15 days and then I ran out of ideas. I also remember reaching out to an artist that I admired and they were very kind to me and we had a nice conversation and at the end I asked if they could make me a portfolio review. So they did. I was told that my mermaids were beautiful and sensual but my portfolio was mainly that. 
and you know I agreed and I didn't feel okay with that. I'm always trying to be as much objective about my art as possible and I admit because I was focusing so much on mermaids in that period of time I neglected almost everything else and I looked like a one-trick pony artist. And you know, technically it is not a bad thing if you really love that one subject you draw, but it wasn't my case and I promised myself to avoid drawing mermaids for some time. And last year, 2020, I wanted to repeat the experience once again, but with my own list of prompts to avoid the struggle from the year before. But still, something that appeared to me a fun subject, once I got to it, I felt blocked and uninspired. So here we are and this is it for me.
Now let's move to the pros and cons of our challenges. The good thing about any art challenge is that you may transform drawing into something you'll be doing more frequently. It's a sort of training that helps you develop good habits. The second thing is the whole community aspect of it. It is fun being able to participate in a sort of global event, being a part of something big and celebrate that feeling. You also teach your brain to make your creativity flow. Coming up with ideas is the hardest part and personally I did experiment with poses and compositions I would probably never experiment with if it wasn't a daily thing. And last but not least, it gives you a nice dopamine kick once you are done. But then there are cons. You see, every drawing style is different and sometimes you might require more time than expected. Also, something might go wrong along the way and you'll need to rethink your process and in some cases start your drawing all over again. The first days of monthly challenges are always fun. There is a lot of hype, uh, you start fresh, the community talks about it, you finally use your brand new art supplies you bought specifically for that event, and then after a few days, maybe two weeks, it all ends. You've got something else to do on the way, it might be not art related, you might run off ideas, and because that's something that happens to most of us, you are ending up alone and still you might boost your confidence by going to a specific forum where you find people who are still hanging on and share your journey or if you have like-minded friends you can discuss new ideas with them but overall the attention spam of the entire community is moving on to something else it is not a coincidence that we start seeing christmas decorations in november you know same with art events. With every single art challenge, once it starts, it becomes already something that belongs to the past. But the worst side effect that might happen to you is the feeling of burning out. This is something that doesn't happen to everyone, but not being able to create new concepts on a daily basis combined with the pressure of drawing daily can be too much. To summarize, personally, I don't think I will repeat a monthly challenge ever again on this scale. Making 30 or 31 pieces in one month plus is definitely too stressful and too much. In my case, once I was done with it, I didn't feel anything specific other than thinking it's finally over. And yet, ironically, nobody was forcing me to actually participate. I created too much pressure and for the future I'd rather make one piece a week and move on without dwelling on my mental health care as an artist. Moreover, I'm starting to hate the whole challenge culture on the internet. And the more I look at well-known artists, I notice that they focus mostly on their own art. They do not participate as often in community challenges and this is something I want to do for myself as well. Our challenges are made to be fun, but once you enter that rabbit hole and start to care, it is impossible to be fully chilled about them. So with that being said, let me know what your thoughts are. Did you manage to complete a challenge in the past and how was it? I'll be curious to know your thoughts and as always, thanks for watching, consider subscribing if you haven't yet and I'll see you next time, ciao!